Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today we'll be illustrating a pair of cowboy boots that I have been really looking at on the Ariat website. I really like the shape and features on this boot. I really like how it's 13 inches. I like the roper's heel and the small square toe. Um, however, I'm not the biggest fan of the stitching pattern. So as a graphic designer, I decided to take on the challenge and make my own pair of boots. For a while, I've been really wanting to make a series of posters um, that are Western inspired. And since I've been eyeing these boots for a little while, I decided why not make this my first illustration. A little later in the video, you'll see that I really like the ornamental and more symmetrical design for this boot. And this is a style I've been following very closely. I think it comes from a lot of inspiration from cowboy western wear as there's a lot of the pattern making um, and that's always very symmetrical and usually ornamental. Starting in 2021 and more heavily in 2023, especially with the Barbie movie, we saw more of a cowboy core fashion movement. I saw this reel on Instagram the other day of a model somewhere in Paris dancing down the runway in denim chaps with a cropped vest and a cowboy hat and matching accessories. They looked like they were having a good time, but um, it was funny last year at my university, there were more people wearing cowboy look clothing. And I always found this pretty funny because I was a commuter student and oftentimes I would be coming from the farm wearing my cowboy farm clothes, um, especially if I didn't have time to change and I always felt like I stood out a little bit for that. Um, but honestly, I always found the clothes to be really practical, unlike most fashion brands, brands like Wrangler, Keem's Jeans, um, Carhartt, uh, Outback Leather. They do a pretty good job about making women's clothing practical and still looking good. And oftentimes I'll even just buy the men's versions of things and I, I love them. I really like to style them, um, but at, at least I think so. Um, I guess I am kind of biased, but honestly, it's kind of good that this is trending. Cowboy culture is trending because it brings awareness to where cowboys lie in the American economy. Cowboys have such a significant impact on our agriculture and livestock industries. And these people play such an important role in from all the small farm town um, cowboys, they do a fantastic job and are often not represented enough for the work that they do. But anyway, that was my tangent for this video. Um, I do have to say being a graphic designer, I love seeing the mid-century modern fashion return with the deep, beautiful pastels and lovely textures. I'm not 100% sure this is a part of the same cowboy movement. Um, part of me likes to think so because of all the fringe from Chaps, the rough out leather, um, but I'm just happy that they're coming back together. Um, I really am enjoying the styles that are coming out and what we are seeing in stores. Um, but anyway, back to my illustration. Um, One of my favorite ways to find inspiration is scrolling through Pinterest. I'm not the biggest fan about scrolling through Instagram and Facebook or TikTok. I'm just don't really like those platforms as much, um, but I really like Pinterest. I really like Behance, uh, Dribble. I find a lot of inspiration from other artists um, and I really like looking at um, pattern making designs, uh, fashion, tattoos, um, interior design, architecture. I, I often find more inspiration outside of the graphic design industry and in different art forms um, for professional industries. I've, I really like mid-century modern design and I think you will find that a lot of my art is inspired by it. But when you come and potentially later in a different video, you'll see um, that my studio space is set up um, very much based off the mid-century 
modern aesthetic, uh, mainly because I think it's functional. I like the look, I like the feel, I like the environment, I like the warm tones with um, the really nice cool pastels. I, I just really love, um, really love that era um, and I'm glad it's coming back. Um, but anyway, a lot of my inspiration has come from Pinterest um, and you'll see that I'll bring in some different images and graphics that I found and I'm going to try hard to go and link the artists um, that I was inspired by and use some of their as their illustrations were such a big impact on my design for this. Um, and you'll see that I'll be tracing a lot of the images I find. Since this is a personal project, I'm not going to stress too hard about making my own patterns. This is more of a project that I just want to do at the end of my week. Um, after I've had a really crazy design week, I wanted to do something relaxing for myself. And honestly, I find a lot of inspiration and a lot of joy um, coming from other artists and finding how I can utilize that in my own art. And actually one of the artists I have um, a more personal connection to is my cousin, um, Honey Locus. She has been uh, doing a lot of print work and uh, ornamental design, pattern making, um, and she's been stamping a lot of her ornamental designs on clothing and I absolutely love the designs she's currently making and um, I've been really inspired by her artwork and it's been really nice growing up in a very artistic like family. My mom's a graphic designer, I'm a graphic designer, my cousin is an artist and my two grandparents were painters and quilters and um, very into pattern making so it's just been a lot of fun expanding on each other's artwork. And in the end, I am hoping to print this out. I'm planning on printing it out to start at as a uh, 11 by 17, just a normal poster size. Um, and I'm gonna hang it up in my current room, which honestly I'm running out of wall space because I am big into drawing on my walls. So a lot of my walls are currently covered in murals, so I'm running out of wall space, but I have a small section. I would love to make a gallery for these illustrations to bring in some of that Western feel, a little bit more of my life into my studio space. Um, but if you can't tell, I recorded the audio and video separately. Um, and it's quite relaxing to watch my illustrations um, unfold. I used to have some friends in college who used to ask me to zoom and share my screen. And as I was just designing, if I had a freelance project or needed to recreate a logo for someone or something like that, um, they love to watch and they said it was like a, a Bob Ross painting. Um, so I always thought that was kind of funny, but now I see what they mean. Um, at the time, I never really got that because on my end of things, I was always a little stressed out making these illustrations because I wasn't, I was just learning the pen tool. I was learning how to manipulate it. And honestly, it's a really hard tool to learn. I don't know how other artists out there feel, um, but I know a lot of people who just gave up on it and in the very beginning when I was learning this, I really did just give up on it. Um, but it's pretty much the only tool I use now um, and I like to think I've mastered it. But at the time I was still learning the tool and it was really frustrating on my side but it was nice that someone was getting some enjoyment out of watching me just illustrate and do my thing. 
something you'll notice if you subscribe to my channel is that I will include a lot of animals and botanical elements into my illustrations. Um, this is another big part of my life. I love to go hiking. Um, my entire family is always surrounded by nature. So this is just something I like to incorporate in my artwork and I am really mad I wasn't able to incorporate either a bird or a butterfly into this illustration. But I was trying to go for a very symmetrical feel with that ornamental look, um, but yeah, I just could not make it work with that, uh, that little bit of boot piping. Um, maybe in my next design in this series I can include one of the other in there. That would make me really happy. We'll see. Even though the butterfly design didn't work out very well, I think that since it was such a solid form with that gray color, it just was not working to match with the ornamental as the, uh, I guess you would call petals or leaves were so thin you saw more of that deep turquoise color that maybe um, there was just too much of that gray color blocking the that pretty um, turquoise that it since it was so symmetrical it just looked asymmetrical and didn't fit within the in the design what do you think I would like to take the time and apologize for my terminology. I have not taken a graphic design class since high school in 2019, so it's been a little while since I've had to actually flex those skills um, and flex those muscles. So when I went to school, I studied uh, business and marketing. Um, so a lot of the terminology I learned back in high school and also from my mom didn't really stick. Um, so when I am working on these videos, I do apologize. Hopefully as I make these over time, I'll get better, um, with practice, of course. Um, I always find it funny when my mom and I collaborate on projects together. She always has the terminology and is really good about talking to clients, um, especially if they are designers. And I'm always the illustrator on the project, um, but we do switch roles. But I've learned a lot from her over time and I think she's played a really impactful role on my freelance career. So thanks, mom. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give this video a like. If you would like to stick around and see how the series unfolds, please hit subscribe. If you're interested in checking out my website, please visit AudreyRapDesign.com. I have a couple different portfolio pieces where you can see some websites, some logos, some package design, and other branding projects I've worked on. Uh, you can also check me out on Behanced and Dribble. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.